In part two, we build a working battery uh, like the one that's uh, powering this radio right now. The Transoceanic was designed to run on battery and it works best on battery. There are a couple different ways to go uh, in building a battery for your Zenith Transoceanic. If you happen to have an original box such as this one, you can gut it and restuff it with uh, new battery holders and batteries to uh, make up your 90 volt uh, B supply and your 9 volt A supply. If you don't have an original box, uh, you can make your own or you can get one from me. And inside the box we have a power supply that uses 60 AA batteries. These are 5 by 2 holders, so each one holds 10 batteries. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 10 uh, gives you 90 volts. And we use 6 D cells to provide the 9 volt A power or your filament supply. And then uh, here is a connector installed in the, uh, in the box. The uh, advantage of using a power supply with 60 AAs is that this will last about 400 hours of playing time depending on how you use your radio. You can substitute this for nine, I mean ten, nine volt cells wired in series and that will play from 40 to 60 hours and it will be lighter uh, as well but it's a trade-off over whether you want longer playing time or the convenience of uh, not having to replace 60 AA cells when these finally go bad. Okay, here are the AA and the D cell holders that we need. I've trimmed the leads and I've put a piece of shrink tubing on every other lead. And now we'll begin connecting the leads together in series, red to black or black to red. We'll solder the two 3 by one D-cell holders in series and we'll connect red to black. And now we'll slip the uh, shrink tubing over the joint we just soldered and use a heat gun to uh, shrink it down tight. Okay, we're done with the D-cell holders for now. Now we'll do the uh, 5 by 2 AA holders. Again, we want to connect them in series, red to black, black to red. I've trimmed these leads to about three inches on the uh, five by two holders. Uh, we don't want it to look like a bowl of spaghetti inside the battery box when we're done. Okay, we've soldered that. Now we'll sh put the uh, shrink tubing over the joint and heat it. And we'll do the others the same way. Okay, we're just about finished here. This is the last connection. So we've got uh, six of these connectors in series.
red end will go to B plus and the black end will go to B minus. Everything looks good. No mismatched wiring. Okay, so I've arranged the uh, battery holders in the box and the last step is to simply solder the correct leads to the connector. Okay, I've soldered all the leads to the connector now. We'll just uh, check and make sure everything's right. There's B+. Plus. And there's B-. minus. There we go, A+. Plus. Looks right. Okay, A minus. Okay, everything's good. Now we just need to uh, load this up with 60 AA cells in the 5x2 holders and 6 D cells in the two 3x1 holders and we'll be ready to go. And we'll close up the box and you have to make sure the holders are pushed against the front side of the box. There we go. As soon as batteries are in here, we can put this into a radio and it will work.